Hello and welcome to video number four. We're going to talk about setting up an account with Mailjet.com and a quick overview of the site. So first things first, we're going to set up an account. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the inside of the site. And we're going to set up an email address with cPanel so that we can get started. All right, so let's jump right in. So first thing you need to do is go to mailjet.com. If you haven't already done so, click on sign up for free, enter your email, password, verify your password, and click on start now. And that's all you have to do to get signed up. And then if you log in, you're going to have access to your dashboard, your campaigns, where you can begin to create your campaigns, your contacts, where you're going to be able to import your leads and your subscribers and organize them. And of course, under stats, you're going to be able to see all your statistics. The beauty of Mailjet is you can see what's been queued, what's delivered, what has been opened, what has been clicked, who has unsubscribed, who blocked you, who clicked on the spam button, and of course, who bounced. And this is all great information so you know who you're dealing with in terms of subscribers and know how to improve your email campaigns. So Mailjet provides you with a lot of simple but very effective features that will help you with building your list and monetizing your list in the future. And under the dashboard here, you can see your account status, how many emails you've sent out, your real time email stats. And as you can see, monthly prices only 749. So not a lot of money that I have to invest. And it's up to 30,000 emails per month. And this is March 5th to April 4th. So in this case, I've saved a lot of money. Now, before we can actually configure our mail jet dashboard to work with the email address and so that we can begin to import the emails and begin to email the list and all of that good stuff, we have to set up an email address. So what I recommend that you do now is to create an email address. I recommend that you have access to some sort of web hosting that gives you access to what we call cPanel because I'm going to be using that in this specific video and if you want to follow along you need to have those specific resources. I use cPanel because the majority of web hosting companies use that so that's the majority. Okay so I'm going to go find a domain name. I'm going to create an email address and then we're going to go on and start to configure the settings. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to use one of my dummy domain names. Check this out right now. Net slash cPanel. And then I'm going to go ahead and log in. And at this point, this is my cPanel and I want to create an email account. To do that, at the very top, you're going to notice that it says email account. So click on that. I'm going to go ahead and create an email address here. In order to do this and get this right, you're going to need to have cPanel or you can't use something like Gmail or Yahoo or anything like that. It has to be your own domain name. So. I'm going to create an email. Let's say support. I'm going to include my password, password, and we're going to create an account. So you can do a password generator here to generate your password, or you can enter something that you want to here. So I'm going to enter that here. Click create account. And there we go. And of course, you want to make sure that you save this information in a safe location because you're going to need to refer back to it later on. 
Now I'm going to keep this window open because I'm going to need it later on. Now in order to increase your deliverability rates, you're going to need to have access to what we call the WHM or the Administrator cPanel. And you can only get this if you have a reseller account or if your web hosting company allows it. And normally it looks like something like this. So basically what this is, is it's WHM, which is a administrator panel that enables you to control all your different domain names. Now, some web hosting companies will not give you access to your WHM. I would call your web hosting company or ask them of possible packages where you can gain access to the WHM, which is part of cPanel, uh, but it's the administrator dashboard, which basically enables you to edit the options for that specific domain name. Now, this is not necessarily required. You can do without it, but you're going to lose out on different options and different features that will increase your deliverability rates. So I wanted to make that note there that you can just create this and be done. But if you want to really, really take this to the next level, then contact your web hosting company and gain access to the WHM panel. Okay, now that's done. That's all you need to know for now. And in the next video, we're going to configure the email accounts and integrate them in to the mailjet.com system. Okay, great. Let's move on.